Hi, today we are going to learn how to ask a user to add additional information after he registered. CM After Registration Extended Profile Fields is a WordPress plugin that allows you request information from your users after they have registered, enriching their profiles. This powerful plugin boasts a visual profile form builder and allows the admin to automatically update the role of users who complete the questionnaire. In this video use case, we'll cover how to build the form with all options you need, how to create different user roles, and how to automatically update the roles after completing the questionnaire. We assume that you have already bought the plugin and installed it. As there is ability to upgrade the user role after completing the questionnaire, it might be useful for you to know about how to create new user roles and define their capabilities. For creating new user roles, you can use the User Role Editor plugin. You can install it the same way as any other WordPress plugin. After you installed the plugin, navigate to Users – User Role Editor. Next step, you need to click the Add Role button, give a name to the new role, define its capabilities, and then save the changes using the Update button. For example, we've already created a user role called Unicorn with abilities to manage EDD and WooCommerce products. Create, edit and delete them. Now you know how to create new user roles, so we can go straight to our main plugin. Let's start with the plugin settings. Navigate to After Registration – Settings. Under the General tab you can see a few settings. Display Notice automatically. Enable it to automatically display the notification with proposal to fill the questionnaire. To display it manually you can use a short code that you can see on the screen. Notice Message. Write here a message that will be displayed in the notification. This field accepts HTML and the placeholder EP URL that fetches the Extended Profile Pages URL. Extended Profile Fields Form Page Choose the page where the questionnaire is located. Once the plugin is installed, the page is created automatically. You can also create your own page, place there a short code that you can see on the screen and choose this page. Roles Select any number of roles to display the notice only to them. By default, all roles will be selected. Assign new role after the form is filled. If you want users to have a new role after completing the form, you can choose a role here. Let's choose here the role Unicorn that we created before for our example. Notice Container Class or ID. If you want to add a notice to a custom position, you need to add a class name with period such as point container or ID with hash such as hash container. If you leave it empty, then notice will prepend in body. Don't forget to click the Save button to save the changes. In the settings menu you can also see the button Clear Cache on the bottom right. It might be useful to use for clearing cache in rare situations when something goes wrong. In the next tab, Labels, you can customize or translate to another language the items that are displayed on the profile fields form page on the front end. Building the form. Navigate to After Registration page. There you can see the form builder. The profile form is a collection of custom fields that the user must fill. You can add any input field from the list on the right by dragging and dropping them to the zone on the left. For convenience, the fields can be minimized by clicking on the pencil icon that appears at the top right while hovering over an input field setting area. The custom input fields can be reordered by clicking and holding it and then dragging it up or down as desired. There is a selection of different input fields available to choose from to control the type of data being entered by users. Each of these input types has their own configuration specific to them. There are also settings that are common to every field and affect the general behavior of the form. Change label. Edit the front-end label for the input field. User meta key. The key to the user meta record in the database. It's recommended to change this to something more easily remembered using alphanumeric characters and underscores. Required. Check this box to make the input field required for the user to complete the registration form. Restrict to roles. Show the field only to the selected user roles. Tooltip text. Tooltip that will appear on hovering. CSS class. Filled automatically but can be customized. 
some fields might have the setting placeholder, so you can write some text to give users a hint what type of the answer is supposed to be. We've already created this form in advance for the example. Don't forget to click the save button to save your form. Let's see how it will look like on the front end. User registration. We can see that the user role after registration is subscriber. The user can see the notification that offers complete his profile. The user completes the form. After the user completed the form, we can see that his role changed to Unicorn. And now this user has an access to the admin dashboard and can manage EDD and WooCommerce products as we allowed it for this user role. Let's see next what we can do with the received user data. First of all, you can export all this data to CSV file using the button Download CSV right under the form builder. You can also export to CSV the data about definite user and edit the date. To do that, navigate to Users – All Users. Hover on the needed user and there you can see two new options. First option – Extended Profile Fields to CSV. You can export the data about this definite user to CSV file. Second option – Edit Extended Profile Fields. Click it to edit the data from Extended Profile Fields. You can also view the information from extended profile fields while regular editing the user. But there you can only view this data, without the possibility of editing. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to ask users to add additional information after they registered to enrich their profiles and upgrade their user roles. Thanks for watching the video!